TMZ Sports has reported that UFC Hall of Famer Chuck Liddell has been arrested for domestic violence and is currently sitting in jail. They reported that he was involved in a verbal argument with his wife that turned physical. He was taken to jail where his bail has been set to $20,000. According to Aaron Helwani, a welterweight bout between Leon Edwards vs Jorge Masvidal has been targeted for UFC 269 on December 11th. Leon Edwards is coming off a unanimous decision win over Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal is coming off a KO loss to Kamaru Usman. With Tyson Fury's recent KO win over Deontay Wilder, Conor McGregor reacted to the fight and tweeted, Great fight that. Both warriors, both winners. Hard not to be impressed with Deontay there. Against a much larger man and almost got it done. Great fight. 40 pounds in weight difference is a lot. Fair play both men there. Very enjoyable fights they have had together. Respect. He followed up with their skill levels are very unique but very close. A great heavyweight trilogy that was. I love when it gets set for certain and both have an honourable showing. Not the fam in the ring fake celebrating after a freak injury etc etc you know the gig. God bless the real in this world. He ended it off with congrats Tyson and Paris. Me and D are so happy for you and the kids. Congrats to Deontay and Telly also. Was great meeting you guys recently. A real proud showing that was and could have gone either way. Amazing. Happy Sunday night today with the cheddar and the memories. God bless. At UFC Vegas 39, Mackenzie Dunn lost to Marina Rodriguez via unanimous decision. She recently reacted to her loss and posted this on her Instagram with the caption, Thank you everyone for all the support. Yesterday wasn't the result I was training for, but this fight is the biggest learning experience for me. Now I have a lot to look back on and fix to become a better fighter. For a submission would have been great, but to have these runs on me to work on is such a blessing. Congrats Marina for the win. I hope you guys enjoyed the fight and thanks for adding Dana White for the fight of the night bonus. Thank you to my family, my team, my friends, and everyone who continues to support me. Let's go. But wait, there's more. TJ Dillashaw in a recent interview with Errol Hawani says that Aljamain Sterling may not come back after his next surgery. I don't even know if Aljo is ever going to come back, to be honest. You know, from this, from what he had done, to be, to be honest, is kind of crazy. I mean, if I was him, I would have waited to get that done. Um, my coaches, my my strength conditioning coach, as well as my wrestling coach, that you know do, sells the medical equipment that did his neck. Don't believe he's ever going to come back. I think he's just holding on to this belt as long as he can. Maybe try to soak up. I don't know what's. I mean, that's just. A, I've, I've had that feeling already. So when he pulled out of the fight, I wasn't surprised. Um, I bet he's dealing with nerve damage. I bet he's dealing with a lot of stuff. I mean, you go get your your neck cranked on with what he's got done. I mean, it's definitely not good. So we'll see. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I don't know if he's ever going to come back. You're on top of the world. You're the champion. You know, yeah, you won it the way you did, but now you're going to start getting paid like a champion. You're going to have these big fights. Like, take advantage of them while you can, not go out there and get this neck surgery. I mean, I understand he's got the problem. He has the injuries. I mean, I was dealing with two blown out shoulders while I was a champion, but I wasn't willing to sit out for a year because I had big paydays. Like, let's be honest, I'm in this sport because I love it, but I've been in it for a long time. I'm in it for the money, man, you know? And like I said, I don't need the money anymore. Now I'm in it for these big fights, these big paydays. And, uh, you know, I am the best band of weight right now. I'm the best band of weight, I believe, of all time. And uh, I'm going to come back and get my belt back and be a three-time champion. So that's that's where my goals are at, right? But I just don't think he should have got the surgery. So we're down in Dallas, Texas at the Lucchese Boot Store. And uh, let me pick out a beautiful pair. Came in Bay. Super stoked. Getting ready for the beer tonight. Thank you, Lucchese Boots, for the shiny new Sons of Gilbert Burns in a recent interview with Brett Okamoto says that he's requested to fight Jorge Masvidal and is waiting for a response from the UFC. Yeah, we talk about this week a lot. And uh, they see uh, we, we're going to work on it. We see uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the taxi hunter. Sean Shelby, Dana, I did so much and annoying for a couple weeks. Hey, Dana, you mad at me or something? Why? They say, because they don't give me a fight. They say, we work on it next week. Hey, hey, you got any news? Not yet. I've been doing that for like over three months. So I'm already, I'm like, I'm not going to annoy that guy anymore. You know, he knows. They know I where they want to fight. Or he be saying that he wants to fight. Now it's up to the promoter. I, 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 I work tirely. I work very hard to, to get a fight. So now I'm kind of, still training still want to fight but i'm kind of i was so frustrated in the beginning but now i'm kind of more relaxed you know give me a fight whenever i cannot dance by myself i need a partner so found me a partner and uh, the just in the country i'm easy as you guys already know just just in the freaking country the most skilled in season would probably have to be uh masvidal he's just 
I'm so good at staying one step ahead of you. Um, I've had tough, tough fights, but other circumstances led to that. Not, not skill. Great work today from them boys at Fusion. We was out there with attitudes. We was on the mats angry, trying to hit each other, really trying to put in work. And then when we was dead tired and finished, we got back on the mats and we put more rounds in and grappling and was trying to strangle each other and break each other's feet. It was good work today, man. Saturdays are uh, for the boys. Anything that has ever happened to you or not happened to you, anything that has gone wrong or just necessarily didn't go the way you were hoping it would go, no excuses. It was your fault, my fault, whatever. Whatever happened to me or whatever didn't happen to me, it was my fault that it was happening and the way it went, the way it went. No excuses. We always try to justify things when we don't accomplish it the way that we wanted to. I don't care who you are, everybody does it. But you have to realize that at some point, realize it's all your fault it's all up to you you have to do everything in your power to make it go the way you want it to go so I'll finish with this the best way to be successful is to be a good person thank God and to Take your licks like a man. Handle it like a man or a real woman. You know, whatever, if you're a guy or a girl, whatever. You gotta take that with a grain of salt, brush it off, and don't make no excuses for it. Get back to work or back to the drawing board and make yourself better, period. All right, so I live in Boca Raton, Florida, uh, and this place is just crawling with New Yorkers. I probably could have used a better verb, but uh, needless to say, at the gas station, they did not like my, my Red Sox t-shirt. On a celebratory Wednesday, um, what a great win at Fenway Park for the boys last night, the local nine, you know. Um, Alex Cora is a unifying force. People are very dismissive when you try to give the manager a modicum of credit, but Look at that dugout, man. You know, uh, he just has unified that bunch. And uh, I don't know, man. We'll see if the pitching can hold up. But it's on to the Tampa Bay Rays. And it's always a great day when uh, you can end the season for the New York Yankees.